Okay, welcome to question 2. Determine the mass of a load which must be suspended from the lower end of a vertical copper wire of diameter 0.5 mm so that the extension is 0.1% of the original length of the wire given Young modulus for copper. This one. Okay? So, what's the mass? Okay, what you want to find is the mass uh, hanging on the copper wire. Okay? Uh, still the same case like before. Um, yeah, this is the copper wire and this is the mass hanging. Okay? Uh, yeah, the diameter, given diameter, this is the diameter. Okay? In mm, we need to change to SI unit. Extension, uh, this is the elongation, 0.1% uh, of the original length. Okay, L0. This is the L0, yeah? Careful. So, this is the, uh, uh, we want to find, uh, this one is L0, yeah? Give the percentage there. Uh, young modulus given there. Okay, this is the young modulus. Now, uh, so this is the information given. Okay, I stated here. So the diameter is 0 0.5 mm. So you must change to meter. Okay, change to SI unit. So at milli is negative 3. Uh, and then you give the extension uh, 0 0.1% of the original length. Uh, this is how we write it. Yeah, 0.1% of original length. The Young modulus in Pascal. Okay, Pascal is SI unit. No need to bother. Now, first of all, for diameter, if it, the question gives you diameter, of course, you can straight away find the area. Yeah. Uh, for this chapter, when it gives you diameter, no need to think. Just find the area. So for this copper wire, the area should be a circle. Okay, something like, yeah, it didn't say, it didn't say it's a square area or what shape. Yeah? If, uh, if uh, no shape is given, means by default, by default is a circle. Okay, because we know that any wire must be in circle, isn't it? So is uh, the wire is um, uh, is uh, is this one? Yeah, this one. Uh, okay. So we need to find this area. Uh, already given the diameter. Yeah, uh, and this is the original length. Okay, L not. Uh, first of all, we need to find the area. So the area is uh, pi r square. Uh, when we substitute. Uh, when we substitute r equal to diameter over 2, uh, when we substitute r equal to diameter over 2, when we square it, we get diameter square over 4, isn't it? Uh, we substitute d diameter over 2 into the radius, we get pi area equal to pi d square over 4. So actually, you can just remember this formula. Area is pi d square over 4, or pi r square for a, for what? For a circle. Okay? Now, um, let's straight away find the cross-section area, yeah, this area. So, um, uh, let's find out, yeah, let's find out, don't waste our time. So, just substitute the diameter, okay, make sure it's SI unit, yeah, SI unit. Uh, you substitute into the diameter, and what do you get? Uh, what I get is uh, uh, 1.9635, please maintain at least four decimal place decimal place before arriving the final answer uh, when you you reach the final answer only you change to two decimal place okay uh, in the midway you maintain four decimal place for accuracy so okay uh, negative seven uh, meter square so that's the cross section area we got one okay now uh, give this extension 0.1 percent of the original length that means we can Change the percentage into fraction. Always change the percentage into fraction. When we see percentage, we change to fraction. So percent means divide by 100. Do you know that? Percent, percent is actually divide by 100. Uh, it's actually per 100. Uh, yeah? So remember, next time, uh, the percent, sorry, yeah. Uh, so that remember next time the percent means it's uh, 1 over 100. 
okay ah uh, so percent is one over hundred uh like that yeah so zero point one divided by hundred l not uh that means that means what um uh divide by hundred that means uh uh we go uh one space okay we go one space one two at the top also one two uh, that means over here uh, so that means become what uh, one two so uh, add another so add another zero here so point become here here uh, so that means it is um, understand that uh, zero that means it becomes zero point zero zero one L not uh, okay go by two zero here also go by two zero so it's zero point zero zero one uh, zero point zero zero one L not uh, zero point zero zero one L not okay that's the fraction so from here we can further elaborate uh, extension over L not okay the ex the L not go below uh zero point zero zero one uh extension over l naught is actually what remember extension over l naught what is extension over l naught uh strain that's the strain uh strain uh, remember strain has no unit uh no unit because meter divided by meter uh no unit so we got the strain congratulations okay so i got the strain already now uh give you the young modulus here so i need to find the mass which is hanging that means this is uh the mass give give uh the mass is pulling on the rod the mass is pulling on the rod so there is a tension there is a force acting in the rod so when you have force you have stress isn't it uh, force over area you have stress so that means i have the young modulus young modulus is stress over strain i got the strain just now i got the strain just now so i can find i also have the young modulus uh, so i have the strain i have the young modulus i can find the stress and from the stress i can find the force in the wire which is the tension when you have the tension you can find the mass which is hanging on the wire Okay, so in, so easy. So now let us do it. Finish our job. Yeah. So I have a strain. I have a young modulus. They are put inside. Plug in all the values. Uh, my young modulus is one point two three exponent exponent eleven exponent eleven equal to uh my strain stress over strain zero point zero zero one. That's my strain. My strain. So um, uh, let us find out what our, what is our stress. What is our stress? Uh, One point two three exponent eight Pascal. Yes. Uh, you know that? Do you know that the Young modulus unit is Pascal? The stress also Pascal. Okay, stress is Pascal, Young modulus also Pascal. Why? Why they have the same unit? Because the strain has no unit. Strain has no unit, so it doesn't interrupt with the unit. So stress has the same unit as Young modulus. Uh, but they are not the same thing. They have same unit, but they, they are not the same thing. Yeah? Uh, they don't have the same meaning. Uh, they are different. So, uh, this stress experienced by the rod is 1.23 exponent 8 i got the stress um, now i want to find um okay so you see the force in the wire is actually the tension uh, the force in the wire is actually uh, the tension uh, yeah force in the wire is a tension and this is thing is in equilibrium so that means tension equal to mg yeah you know why tension equal to mg because um when acceleration equal to zero, total force equal to zero, isn't it? Total force equal to zero, that means um, uh, T minus mg equal to zero, isn't it? 
uh, yeah, we go put the uh, go, going above is positive, going below is negative. So T is positive, mg is negative. So T minus mg equal to zero. That means, and uh, that's how we get uh, mg go to the the, the 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 other side. So we have T equal to mg. So the tension equal to mg. First, find out the tension. Oh no no no. Um, okay. So the force in the wire is the tension, isn't it? Uh, so we can um, substitute force in the wire is the tension. Okay, force in the wire is the tension, and tension equal to mg. Tension is mg. Uh, tension is mg. So now I have the stress. I have the stress in the wire, and also cross section area. I also got it just now. Ah. So just plug in all the values and then I can find the mass hanging. Uh, I can find the mass hanging. Very easy, isn't it? So this is 1.23. The stress is 1.23 exponent 8. And then mg. Uh, g is uh, 9.81. And then the cross section area just now is uh, actually a circle. 1.9635 exponent negative 7. 1. 1.9635 exponent negative 7 is it yeah correct si unit all right so i can get the mass i can get the mass so my mass i finally got 2.46 kilogram ah that's the mass hanging on the rod uh, which bring this tension and this stress on the wire Okay, 2.46 kilogram. Is that correct? Yes, 2.46 kilogram. So that's it. Yeah, very easy. So remember, when you find cross section area, by default, when no mention what area, normally it's a circle. Um, and then the percentage, percentage is always per hundred. Percentage means per hundred. Uh, per hundred, change to fraction form. And then uh, here you can find strain. And apply the Young modulus formula. Young modulus is uh, stress over strain. And then stress is a uh, force over area. The force in the wire is always the tension. It's always the tension. Okay, uh, that's it. So, see you in the next question. Bye.